So going into 2024, is the Galaxy Tab S6 Lite still worth it? Well, this tablet was updated slightly over the 2020 version. Surprisingly, it still feels like you get some features on this tablet, which you don't get on other tablets in this price category. It's got the S Pen included, unlike an iPad, where you have to buy the Apple Pencil separate. It's also got a headphone jack, and I feel like the 10.4 inch screen looks good enough for most people, although it could be a little brighter in my opinion. It's not going to be as good as some of the other high-end Samsung tablets, but if you like Tab S8 or S9 series, that has the S Pen included, but you want to save quite a bit of money, this is still going to be one of the better, cheaper tablets in my opinion. It's not going to be quite as good as the Tab S9 FE series, but those are also going to cost more, and it might just depend on how much you're wanting to spend. It's currently on Android 13, One UI 5.1.1, but I would assume it's going to get Android 14 before long, and it should be good for another year or so. As far as software updates go, you've also got the Snapdragon 720 processor, which is a nice boost in performance over the previous 2020 version. It should have plenty of power to do most basic things, but keep in mind this isn't going to be nearly as powerful as the Tab S8 or even the S9 FE series. The 10.4 inch screen on here is not AMOLED, but it still looks decent in person when compared to other tablets in this category. It's got 2000 by 1200 resolution, which is still pretty good in my opinion, even in 2024. You also get up to 2160p resolution or upscaled 4K on YouTube videos, at least full HD playback resolution on apps like Netflix since it's wide vine out one. Build quality is still fairly good in my opinion but maybe slightly more dated now especially when you compare it to the S9 FE since those are a little more boxy in shape but this one is a little bit smaller so some people might like that. I still feel like this is probably the best entry level tablet if you're into drawing or say taking notes that sort of thing. It's not going to be quite as good as the Tab S9 FE, but still fairly decent as far as gaming goes. For games like PUBG Mobile and Asphalt 9, it still gets the job done when it comes to light gaming. PUBG Mobile and Asphalt 9 play fairly smooth on here. It just might be at a little lower graphics settings or lower frame rates. This tablet also has improved battery life over the previous version, lasting about seven and a half hours in my battery drain test. So this is gonna be a little above average compared to some other tablets in this category that I've tested recently. Now it's no longer the only budget tablet you can get with Samsung DeX since you've got the FE series and even the Tab A9 Plus has Samsung DeX, but it's definitely nice to have to be a little more productive and feels more like a regular PC. One downside is you don't have the pogo pins on this one like you do on the S9 FE to use an official keyboard, but of course you can use third party Bluetooth keyboards like this one from Logitech. The downside of this one and the older Tab S6 Lite is you won't be able to use an external monitor just by plugging in an HDMI adapter like you can with the S8 and S9 series. The speakers on here also aren't quite as loud as on some of the higher end tablets, but it does have a headphone jack included and it's still fairly decent, especially once you turn on Dolby Atmos. Here's a quick sample just to give you an idea of what it sounds like. The front facing camera on here, probably just good enough for Zoom meetings or other video conference calls. It is over on the side though instead of the long edge, so not the best placement, but still pretty good quality compared to some of the competition. Now if you already have the older 2020 version, I can't imagine you would want to upgrade to this one. You would probably want to look at the S9 FE series, which is going to be a little bigger upgrade in my opinion. I don't know if I would recommend this tablet over the S9 FE or the Tab S8 in 2024, but it's still a pretty tough tablet to be in this price range, especially considering it works with the S Pen.
So if you've made it this far into the video, you may want to say thanks by subscribing and don't forget to give a thumbs up if this video was helpful. This is Brian from Fishbee Productions. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.